Good morning. Uh, it's five o'clock. We are back with copying and pasting in between applications with this rather cool Python script. So um, we've got Max on the left, and we've got Blend. We've well, got Max two, 2015 on the left, and we've got Blender 2.78c on the right. Um, now let's do a, uh, a little bit here. Let's do under here. We have how to do how to run these scripts in Blender currently is you go to the object button here open this and in the top of this thing you've got copy to external and paste from external let's give these instead of having to navigate up here let's have shortcut key shall we so how do we do that well copy to external so we'll use c we'll so we need to i think we're going to do um alt c so right hand click for your mouse add shortcut hover your mouse into there until it says press key alt c that's done uh, and paste from external, right hand click, uh, add shortcut, move your mouse in there, and we'll do Alt V. And we've now successfully done that, so that's all cool and groovy. Right, this is all set up. So over here, we've got Max. Um, I've got my Max scripts running off two buttons at the minute. We'll sort the buttons out later. Um, we'll do another video for the buttons, I think. So uh, we've got a copy one here, and we've got a paste one basically. That runs the two little Mac scripts that runs the Python scripts. So let's go and show you that this is May the 5th now, early morning, May the 5th. Uh, the current state of the Max one has a few caveats. So let's organize what they are. So, teapot, drag a teapot out. There's our little purple teapot. We can't just send this over as is. We need because currently it's a uh, procedural object, object, but um, at the moment the export um, or copy to from Max needs to be triangulated, and so we need to convert it to an edit mesh. How do you do that? Well, you right and click and go convert to or editable mesh. Kapronk, we're done. Right, so now I can go here and go copy, and over here I can do the Alt V, and we've just pasted it in, and there is your teapot. All right, let's go and do something to this said teapot. Oh, let's uh, look at it at the minute. So if I go and um, hit the tab key inside Blender, you'll see that it's all triangles. So, okay, that's going to be annoying. How do I get rid of the triangles then? Well, so you're currently in face mode here. Yeah, so in face mode. And we'll go to mesh and we'll go faces. And we will go tries to quads, and we've now got it all quaded out. Woohoo! So, tab key, bada bing, bada boom. So, that's cool. Um, let's go and mess with it and do something with it. So, you know, it's worth the trip over here. So, we're going to go and add a modifier, and we're going to add a simple deform, and we're going to do a taper. And let's do it that way to make it like a cartoon teapot. There you go, now have a cartoon teapot. This is a live modifier, so we need to like bake it down. So what we need to do is apply it. So I've now applied it. Uh, so that's cool. Let's go over to just put that out of the way. What we're going to do back in Max. So in this guy, got him selected. We're going to go Alt C to copy it. And then this guy here, I'm just going to hit the paste command, and we have now got our little model back, and it's quads. So Coming coming into it, it's all quads, it's all cool. Going out at the moment, it needs to be triangulated. Uh, that will get fixed in short order, I would imagine. And currently it says mesh, so it's not a, not a valid object to play with at the minute. So you need to go right and click, convert to, and we'll go edit poly. And that will do that. There you go. Hopefully you didn't fall asleep watching this. Um, we'll do another one another, another day. Right, see you in a bit. Bye.